Hey guys, Trevor with Shadow Systems. It's Tactical Tuesday. I want to do a quick video on mounting a Hollow Sun K series optic like the 507K on a CR920. Okay, we've run into some problems with this recently, and it's related to the body of the Hollow Sun optic kind of varying a little bit in length. All right, so remember, we use a, a spacer that sits at the front of the optic, and if the space between the screw holes and the front of the optic grows a little bit, well, it gets really tight on the slide. The opposite is also true, okay? But we've only really seen problems with the Holosun 507K suddenly getting really tight on a CR920 slide installation. So that's the only combination I'm talking about here. We've worked out some modified ways of mounting it that help with the problem, and I'm just gonna show those to you here so that if you are mounting this combination, you're gonna have a little easier time installing it, okay? All right, so why don't you come in here real quick and I'll show you on the slide itself um, what, hey, hand me that screwdriver, yeah, this is like the production value part of the video. All right, so we are gonna look at mounting this optic now. The spacer that you normally select in the manual will have a plus sign. So if you look at the manual and you look at the spacer and you look at the back of the spacer in this little circle, it'll say in the manual that a Hollow Sun 507K is the plus sign spacer, okay? In reality, if it gets real tight and kind of based on what we're seeing right now, the one without the plus sign that's designed for the Shield RMS seems to do a little better. So I would err on the side of caution with the way these optics are coming out these days. If it's a recent production one, I would actually go with the the non-plus spacer, the one that just has a smooth circle, no little plus sign in it, okay? All right, so we mount the optic uh, in this you know, standard process. We usually would say, take the optic and kind of set it in there and, and then put your screws in. And as you tighten the screws, it pulls the optic forward a little bit and locks it in place. All right, because there's, they're so tight and there's so much compression with some of these, we're now saying that for this particular optic, start with the optic kind of cocked up a little bit. It just makes it easier to put the screws in uh, before the optic flattens out and they get really tight. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the optic propped up. The back of the optic is in the hole, it's in the slot, it's not, you know, sitting crazy high like that or something. It's, it's still in there, but I'm just giving myself a little more room. All right, so I'll put that in again. So I'm gonna put it in, get it going from the front to rear, and then just get the back started. Okay, then the manual would describe how to use the Loctite. Be sure you do that. I'm just gonna do it without Loctite right now for purposes of the demonstration. Here, okay, you're gonna wanna start your screws, and you're gonna wanna kinda go back and forth. And you will feel friction and contact pretty early in the process. As the optic is being pushed into its slot, you'll, you'll feel that friction start, okay. Once you get kind of to this place here, you can, you can sort of tap the optic to make sure it's seated. You want to make sure that the, the front corner is all the way down there in the slot, okay? And then you can start to tighten your screws. And you will feel friction against the body of the optic. It's not hurting anything. I mean, you might take off a little finish on the inside of the screw hole or something, but it's not, it's not hurting anything. It's doing what it's supposed to do, nice and tight, okay? So I'm continuing to screw them down. I'm kind of going back and forth. Again, I've used the Loctite per the recommendation in the manual, all right? And I'm checking it every so often to make sure that it's, it's seated in the front, okay? And it is. Maybe a little tap here and there if you need to. And then you can finish your screws off and tighten them all the way down, okay? All right. It may not look like a big difference, but really what it does is it gives you the opportunity to get the screws going pretty far before you really start to get friction. And just propping the optic up like that kind of helps, all right? So you'll tighten them nice and tight, not crazy, kind of hand tight, 10 to 12 inch pounds and then check and make sure that there's no gap in the front and you should be in business, all right? Don't forget to use the Loctite. Try the, the non-plus, the zero spacer, and then use that method of propping the optic up and it will go on a little easier. And frankly, in a way, it's kind of even more rock solid this way. I mean, the fact that it's tighter isn't a bad thing. It's a little tighter than maybe it really needs to be but it's certainly not hurting anything. It's actually making that, that uh, optic even harder for it to twist or get knocked out of alignment. So it's all good in the end. Just having a better method for installing should help you. All right, that's all we got for this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much.